The Football Story 2030 presents a football legend, Diego Armando Maradona, born in Lainus on October 30, 1960, and passed away in Tigre on November 25, 2020. He was an offensive midfielder, football coach, and Argentine sports executive. Maradona, a left-footed attacking midfielder, was known for his extraordinary vision, ball control, passing accuracy, and exceptional dribbling. Despite his height of under 170 centimeters, he had a compact physical structure and strong legs, allowing him to effectively withstand physical pressure from opponents. Furthermore, Maradona possessed great creativity and tactical intelligence, specializing in the Rabona and excelling as a finisher and playmaker. He was also skillful in taking set pieces, having scored 62 free kicks in his career, ranking sixth on the all-time list. During the period he played in Europe, 1982-1993, he converted 49 penalties out of 52 attempts. In addition to his technical skills, he demonstrated notable sacrifice, effectively contributing to the team's defensive phase. In 1976, Maradona began his professional career with Argentinos Juniors, making his debut at the age of 15 on October 20 against Talleres becoming the youngest ever to debut in the Argentine First Division. Maradona started playing regularly, scoring his first goals on November 14 against San Lorenzo, with a brace. In 1978, he became the top scorer in the Argentine league with 22 goals. In 1979 and 1980, he won the South American Golden Ball as the continent's best player. In 1980, he scored one of the most beautiful goals of his career against Deportivo Pereira on February 19, a goal that Maradona himself called the most beautiful ever scored. In 1981, after negotiations that included four players and a settlement of $2 million, Maradona moved to Boca Juniors. In his official debut at the Bombonera, Maradona scored a brace in the 4-1 to -one victory against Talleres. An injury kept him out for four match days, but upon his return, he scored 28 goals in 40 matches, leading Boca Juniors to victory in the 1981 Metropolitano Championship. In June 1982, for 1 million and 200,000 Spanish pesetas, Diego Maradona was transferred to Barcelona. Despite various injuries, he contributed to Barca's victory in the Copa del Rey against Real Madrid in 1983 and in the Copa de la Liga. The 1983-1984 season started positively, however, in September, during a league match against Athletic Bilbao, he suffered a serious injury to his left ankle due to a foul by Andoni Goicoetzia. Despite the triple fracture, Maradona returned to the field in just 106 days, in January 1984, playing 16 matches and scoring 11 goals. In the Copa del Rey final against Athletic Club in May, lost 1-0, Maradona provoked a brawl with Goicoetzia, but later had to apologize to the King of Spain, Juan Carlos. After recovering from the injury, Maradona was signed by the Italian club Napoli for 13.5 billion lire. On July 5, 1984, Maradona was officially presented at the San Paolo Stadium and was welcomed by about 80,000 jubilant people who paid the symbolic fee of a thousand lire to see him. In the first season, Napoli achieved a mid-table position, while the following year, they secured third place. Under the guidance of coach Ottavio Bianchi, Napoli won their first Serie A title in the 1986-1987 season and their third Coppa Italia winning all 13 matches, including the two finals against Atlanta. The league-slash-cup double was an achievement that until then had only been accomplished by Grande Torino and Juventus. In the 1987-1988 season, Maradona was the top scorer, with 15 goals. In 1989, Napoli narrowly missed the treble, finishing second in the league behind Inter, reaching the final of the Coppa Italia, and winning the UEFA Cup against Stuttgart. In 1989-1990, under the guidance of Albertino Biggin, Napoli reclaimed the league title and the Italian Super Cup. Maradona's Italian experience ended on March 17, 1991, after a doping test conducted after the league match Napoli-Bari revealed positive results for cocaine. He made his debut for the national team on February 27, 1977, in a friendly against Hungary. He later became a regular starter for the national team, 
scoring his first goal in a friendly against rest of the world in 1979. He participated in the 1979 Copa America and won the Under-20 World Cup in Japan the same year, scoring six goals. In the 1982 World Cup in Spain, Maradona scored two goals in five matches, but was expelled against Brazil. In 1986, he led Argentina to victory in the World Cup in Mexico, scoring five goals and providing five assists. During the memorable quarterfinal against England, he scored two iconic goals, the hand of God and the goal of the century. Maradona continued to represent Argentina in the 1987 and 1989 Copa America. He was also the captain in the 1990 World Cup in Italy, but an injury compromised his performances. Argentina reached the final, but lost to West Germany. After a doping suspension, Maradona returned to the field in 1993, leading Argentina to victory in the Artemio Franchi Cup against Denmark. In the 1994 World Cup, Maradona was expelled for ephedrine doping after two matches. Maradona claimed that the positive result was due to an energy drink, but he was expelled from the tournament and criticized FIFA, claiming to have an immunity agreement, which FIFA denied. After retiring, on October 28, 2008, he became the coach of the Argentina national team but was fired after the quarterfinal defeat against Germany in the 2010 World Cup. After a period of inactivity, in May 2011, Maradona became the coach of Al-Wazel in Dubai. In May 2017, Maradona returned to the bench as the coach of Fujaira. Subsequently, in September 2018, he became the coach of Dorados. In September 2019, Maradona took over Gymnasia. On an individual level, although he could never enter the Ballon d'Or rankings because until 1994 the award was reserved for European players, in 2016 the French magazine France Football, on the occasion of the 60th anniversary of the award, published a revised list of winners nominated before 1995 in which Maradona is considered the winner of two editions, 1986-1990. In 1996, he also received the Ballon d'Or for his career from the same magazine. He has received numerous other individual awards. He shared the official FIFA award with Pelé as the best player of the 20th century, and in 1993, he was awarded the title of the best Argentine player of all time by the Argentine Football Federation. In 2002, he was included in the FIFA World Cup Dream Team, a selection of the best 11 players in World Cup history, receiving, among the 11 of the ideal team, the most votes. He occupies the second position in the special ranking of the best footballers of the 20th century published by World Soccer and the fifth position in that drawn up by the IFFHS. The latter magazine also placed him second in the ranking of the best South American footballers of the 20th century while FIFA placed him at the same position in the ranking of the best number 10s in the history of football, both times behind only Pelé. In 2004, he was also included by the latter in the FIFA 100, the list of the 125 best living players, drawn up on the occasion of the centenary of the Federation. In 2012, he was awarded the best player of the century at the Globe Soccer Awards, and in 2014, he became part of the Hall of Fame of Italian football among foreign players.